Chameleon Linux is one of those projects that quietly challenges how people think about Linux distributions, not by trying to replace everything you already know, but by asking a much deeper question. What if your Linux system didn't have to lock you into a single ecosystem at all? To understand Chameleon Linux, you first need to understand the problem it is trying to solve. The Linux world is famously diverse, but that diversity often comes with fragmentation. Package formats, system tools, release models, and philosophies vary wildly between distributions. If you choose Ubuntu or Debian, you live in the world of dev packages and apt. If you choose Fedora, you live with RPM and DNF. If you choose Arch, you accept rolling releases and Pac-Man. Each choice gives you strengths but also walls. Once you commit, switching becomes painful. Chameleon Linux exists precisely in that space between commitment and freedom, aiming to make Linux more flexible at a fundamental level. At its core, Chameleon Linux is built on OpenSUSEZ, specifically leveraging the OpenSUSE MicroOS and transactional update philosophy. That foundation matters a lot because it gives Chameleon Linux a rock-solid, immutable base system. In a traditional Linux distribution, the base system and user-installed software are deeply intertwined. You install packages, update them, remove them, and over time the system can drift, break, or behave unpredictably. Chameleon Linux takes a different approach. The base operating system is treated as something stable and mostly untouchable. Updates happen atomically meaning the entire system is updated in one go. And if something goes wrong, you can roll back to a previous working state. This alone already makes Chameleon Linux interesting for people who value reliability. But stability is only the starting point. The truly unique idea behind Chameleon Linux is that it allows you to use multiple Linux distribution ecosystems on top of a single base system. Instead of forcing you to choose between Debian-based, Fedora-based, Arch-based, or OpenSUSE-based software, Chameleon Linux lets you use tools and packages for many of them at the same time in a controlled and isolated way. This is achieved through containerized user environments. In practice, this means you can run an Arch Linux environment on top of Chameleon Linux, install Arch packages with Pac-Man, then also have a Fedora environment using DNF, and even a Debian or Ubuntu environment using apt, all coexisting on the same machine. This approach completely changes how you think about a Linux distribution. Chameleon Linux is not trying to be the best distro in the traditional sense. It's trying to be the best host for other distros. The base system is OpenSUSE based, minimal, stable, and mostly invisible. Your actual day-to-day -day work happens inside these distro environments. For developers, this is incredibly powerful. Imagine working on a project that needs to be tested on Ubuntu, Fedora, and Arch. Traditionally, you would use virtual machines, dual boot systems, or separate machines. With Chameleon Linux, you can simply spin up multiple environments and work in all of them on the same desktop, sharing files and hardware resources seamlessly. Another important aspect of Chameleon Linux is how it embraces modern Linux technologies without forcing them on the user in a confusing way. It makes heavy use of containers, but not in the way people often associate with servers or cloud infrastructure. These containers are designed for desktop use. They integrate with your home directory, your display server, and your input devices. Applications launched inside these environments feel like normal desktop apps. You don't have to think about complex container commands or networking setups. The goal is to make cross-distro usage feel natural rather than experimental. Chameleon Linux also reflects a growing trend in Linux toward immutable or semi-immutable systems. This trend can be seen in projects like Fedora Silverblue, OpenSUSE MicroOS, and even SteamOS. The idea is that by separating the base system from user applications, you reduce breakage and make updates safer. Chameleon Linux takes this idea further by saying that if the base system is stable enough, it doesn't really matter which user end you prefer. You can have them all. This is where the name Chameleon becomes meaningful. Just like a chameleon changes its colors depending on the environment, Chameleon Linux adapts to the distribution ecosystem you need at any given moment. From a user perspective, the experience of Chameleon Linux can be both exciting and challenging. It is not designed primarily for beginners. If you are new to Linux and just want something that works out of the box with minimal learning, Chameleon Linux might feel overwhelming. There are more concepts to understand, such as immutable systems, transactional updates, and containerized environments. However, 
For experienced users, especially those who already understand multiple Linux distributions, Chameleon Linux can feel like a revelation. It removes the frustration of distro hopping by letting you stop choosing and start combining. One of the most interesting philosophical implications of Chameleon Linux is how it questions the identity of a Linux distribution. Traditionally, a distro is defined by its package manager, its repositories, and its release model. With Chameleon Linux, those lines blur. Is it an OpenSUSE distro? Technically, yes, at the base level. Is it an Arch distro? It can be inside an Arch environment. Is it a Fedora distro? Also, yes, in a different container. In this sense, Chameleon Linux is less of a distro and more of a meta distro. It acts as a platform rather than a fixed identity. Security is another area where Chameleon Linux shines. Because applications are run inside isolated environments, the attack surface of the base system is reduced. If something goes wrong inside a container, it is less likely to compromise the entire system. Combined with transactional updates and rollback capabilities, this makes Chameleon Linux particularly attractive for users who care deeply about system integrity. It's not just about preventing attacks, but also about recovering quickly if something breaks. Being able to reboot into a previous snapshot after a failed update is a powerful safety net. Performance is often a concern when people hear about containers and multiple environments. In practice, Chameleon Linux is surprisingly efficient. Containers share the same kernel as the host system, which means there is far less overhead than running full virtual machines. Applications start quickly, and resource usage is generally reasonable. Of course, running multiple environments simultaneously will use more memory and storage than a single traditional distro, but modern hardware can usually handle this without issue. For many users, the flexibility gained far outweighs the additional resource usage. Chameleon Linux also fits very well into the workflow of people who like to experiment. Linux enthusiasts often enjoy trying new distributions, testing new package versions, or exploring different desktop environments. Traditionally, this means reinstalling your system repeatedly or maintaining multiple machines. With Chameleon Linux, experimentation becomes safer and less disruptive. You can create a new environment, test whatever you like, and delete it when you're done, without touching your base system. This encouraged curiosity and learning, which has always been a core part of Linux culture. Another important aspect is how Chameleon Linux approaches desktop environments. The base system can provide a desktop environment like GNOME or KDE, but user applications may come from different distro environments. This means you could be running a GNOME desktop from OpenSUSE Zewil, while launching applications built for Arch or Fedora. This kind of mixing would traditionally be considered a recipe for disaster, but the isolation provided by containers makes it feasible. It challenges the old idea that everything on your system has to come from the same repository. The development status of Chameleon Linux is also worth discussing. It is still a relatively young project and should be considered experimental. The developers are exploring new ideas rather than polishing a mass market product. This means documentation may not always be perfect, and some workflows may require manual tweaking. For some users, this is a drawback. For others, it is part of the appeal. Being involved with a project like Chameleon Linux feels like participating in the future of Linux, rather than just consuming a finished product. Chameleon Linux also raises interesting questions about the future of Linux distributions as a whole. If more projects adopt immutable bases and containerized user environments, the differences between distributions may become less important. Instead of arguing about which package manager is best, users might focus more on which base system provides the best stability, security, and hardware support. In that future, a system like Chameleon Linux could become a blueprint rather than an exception. For developers, Chameleon Linux can dramatically simplify workflows. Building software that needs to be packaged for multiple distributions is notoriously painful. Each distro has its own dependencies, versions, and quirks. With Chameleon Linux, you can test builds in multiple environments on the same machine, reducing friction and speeding up development. This is especially useful for open source developers who want to ensure their software works well across the Linux ecosystem. From an educational perspective, Chameleon Linux is also fascinating. It provides a hands-on way to learn about different distributions without constantly reinstalling or relying on virtual machines. Students of Linux can explore how Debian differs from Fedora, how Arch handles packages, and how OpenSUSE structures its system, all within a single setup. 
This kind of exposure can deepen understanding and appreciation of Linux diversity. Of course, Chameleon Linux is not without limitations. Some applications may not integrate perfectly across environments, especially when it comes to system-level services or hardware-specific tools. Not everything is designed to run cleanly inside containers. Users need to be comfortable troubleshooting and understanding where problems originate, whether in the base system or in a specific environment. This reinforces the idea that Chameleon Linux is aimed more at advanced users than at beginners. The community around Chameleon Linux is still small, but that can also be a strength. Early adopters often have direct contact with developers, contributing feedback and ideas that shape the project's direction. This kind of collaboration is one of the reasons Linux continues to evolve in interesting ways. Chameleon Linux feels like a natural experiment, emerging from years of accumulated experience with distro fragmentation and system instability. Another subtle but important aspect of Chameleon Linux is how it encourages a mindset shift. Instead of thinking of your operating system as a static thing you install once and then live with, it encourages you to think of it as a flexible platform. The base system provides stability and safety, while the environments on top provide freedom and choice. This separation of concerns aligns well with modern software design principles and reflects how computing has evolved in the cloud and container era. In the context of the broader Linux ecosystem, Chameleon Linux sits at an intersection of several trends, immutability, containerization, cross-distro compatibility, and developer-centric workflows. It doesn't try to replace Ubuntu, Fedora, or Arch. Instead, it tries to coexist with all of them. This cooperative approach feels very much in the spirit of open source, where innovation often comes from combining ideas rather than competing directly. For users who have spent years distro hopping, Chameleon Linux can feel like the end of that journey. Instead of endlessly reinstalling in search of the perfect distro, you can accept that no single distro is perfect and use them all where they make sense. This is a surprisingly liberating idea. It turns the traditional Linux dilemma on its head and offers a new way forward. In conclusion, Chameleon Linux is not just another Linux distribution. It is a statement about what Linux can become when we stop thinking in rigid categories. By building on a stable, immutable OpenSUSE base and allowing multiple distro environments to coexist, it offers a level of flexibility that few other systems can match. It is experimental, ambitious, and not for everyone, but for those willing to explore its ideas, it provides a glimpse into a future where Linux is less about choosing sides and more about adapting to your needs. Chameleon Linux doesn't ask you to abandon your favorite distribution. It invites you to bring it along and maybe even a few others, all living together on the same system.